Hey everybody, how you doing today? My name is Buddy Blackford and today we're going to be going over the threshold adjustment in Photoshop CS6. Now, what the threshold adjustment does is it reduces an image to only black and white pixels and it bases it on the brightness levels. It's good for locating the uh, highlights or the shadows of an image or for creating some cool looking special effects. So one of the special effects that I want to show you um, takes the adjustment a bit further and adds some more uh, layers of depth to your image along with color. So this is the image or this is the effect I wanted to show you how to do. It's basically just layers of the threshold option on top of each other like this. So you can see where that's going. Now let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I want to do is add the threshold to just a, a layer. Now you should probably, um, to follow along with the tutorial, bring in an image that's probably just like a person or an object with multiple like shades of um, light and dark in it. So that's why I picked a person. They've got shadows. They've got, and they're easy to uh, see, like the different facial features and everything that we can pull out and things like that. So let's go ahead and add the uh, threshold adjustment, and you can see that it puts everything uh, to black and white. The threshold level here means the point at which um, the color is black and then the color is white. So anything to the left here is it's going to be um, more white so uh, the white point has been lowered so more things are more white if you move it to the right things are going to become more black the black point has been lowered so now things are going to be, become more black so that's how the threshold or that's all uh, that's how uh, threshold works so I'm going to hit cancel now what I want you guys to do is for this next um, special effect that I'm going to show you we're going to create we're going to actually cut this guy out of his um, image so that it's just him on an empty background now I mean you can I'm not going to show you how to do this because I have in other tutorials but I just took the magnetic lasso tool went around and then I refined the edges so that they uh, looked good and then I cut them out so now that we have this person cut out I'm going to delete my other layers. So, and I, that's good for now. Now, um, you can create a new layer, and we can make this a background layer. And I found that the, a ba good background is a really dark color of the color that you want to use for your person. So, I used dark blue. So my colors are all just going to go along this edge line right here. And uh, those are the colors that I'm picking for mine. So it's, they're all going to be blue. So OK, let's go ahead and duplicate the main layer four times. One, two, three, and four. All right, now we want to work on each layer alone. So we only want to solo each layer. So hold all. To cl and click on the eyeball of a layer and that'll solo it. Make sure you have the layer selected and now we're going to uh, add the threshold adjustment. And we're going to start out at something low like 50, 52 sounds good. We've got some eyes and then we've got some features here and we've got this whole dark area. So this one is going to highlight the shadows and it's always going to be black. We're not going to change it. So name that 52 because that was a threshold that we had now let's solo this layer and we're gonna add the threshold adjustment again and this time we're gonna come up a little higher and I like coming on to these like little uh, peaks and stuff like that so I'm gonna bring it up to 92 I'm gonna hit OK and then name this one 92 solo this one Add the uh, threshold adjustment, and uh, this one I'm going to keep at 128 because it's right in the middle. I'm going to hit OK, and this 128, and the last one here we're going to pretty much make almost all the way black. So image adjustment threshold, and let's jack this one way up over here, something like 190. I hit OK. 
Okay. Now, if we ever need to add any more um, shades in there, we can always duplicate our layer one here and then make another shade that's a uh, in between 128 and 90, depending on how how it looks when we when it, or when we come out. So the next thing that we're going to do is get rid of all this white. So make sure you uh, solo your top layer. Um, let's go to the magic wand tool. You're going to want to set the tolerance to zero and uncheck contiguous. And then when I click on the white, it's just going to select all the white that there is. And all I got to do is hit delete. And that's gone. So deselect now. Control D is to deselect. And then solo your other layer. Select the white. Delete. Deselect. And do this with the rest of your layers. And delete that out. And now we have a bunch of layers um, that are just black parts. We just have black in our images. So the first one we have here is 52. That's going to stay black. The next one we're going to work on here, 92, we're going to change that to a, a new color. So this color is going to be, um, let's actually start with 90, 190 here because this is going to be our darkest color. So let's work from there. Let's work from darkest up because I already have my background set to pretty dark. All right, so go ahead and control click on the thumbnail image. It'll turn into a, like a little uh, selection box there and it'll select all the black. Now go ahead into your color swatch and pick, um, let's see, I'm gonna pick a pretty light color here. So this is probably good because this is going to be at the bottom of all your layers. So we've got our light color here. We'll just go to our paint, paint bucket here, uncheck contiguous, and go ahead and paint in there. So make sure your contiguous is unchecked or else it's going to, if, if anything's broken apart, it's not going to fill it all in. So let's go ahead to our next one here. Deselect what you had selected before and now select hold alt to select this um, image for some reason mine doesn't want to do uh, select that's because I was holding alt instead of control alright we got that now let's make this a little darker and add that in go on to our next one and this one's going to be fairly dark as well And then this one here, we're just going to leave as black. And now we could turn our layers on and turn our background on. And now we've got our posturized image. And if you want to add more detail to the face or anything like that, um, go ahead and add, um, create a new layer, add it to the um, or posturize it, or I mean threshold it. Sorry, not posturize. But add the threshold and to the part where you can see more facial features that are uh, turning black and some of it are white in the face and that way you can grab more facial features. Now if you want to you could um, turn on the bottom layer, layer 1 and you can add white into your image and this the only thing that's going to show is the highlighted areas, the things that are going to be white because um, that's what we cut out during the posturizing effect so that's all you're going to see there. So it's up to you what you want for the background, but I think a dark background that is the in the same color um, area as the color that you picked for the person would be a good idea. So that's how you do this tutorial, um, and this is using Threshold to create a new layered Threshold effect. So thanks for watching, everybody, and have a good one.